Okay, now we're going to keep our promise and show you MATLAB online. To get to it, I'll just launch a browser. Um, Safari in this case, after all I am on a MacBook. And I'll just type in the complete URL. It's https colon slash slash matlab.mathworks.com and the MATLAB online login window appears. Type in my login email and my password and hit login. And after a few seconds, there it is, MATLAB Online. Well, as I mentioned before, you can have this same desktop too with that license that MathWorks is going to give you. To get your free 12-week license, you need to get your own login and password. You can get them by following the instructions on the course website. So if you haven't done it already, I recommend that you pause this video right now and get your free license. And don't worry, I'll be right here when you come back. In fact, come to think of it, I'd really like you to pause me right now because I need to take a break to go get myself a sandwich. So tell you what, let's plan on meeting back here in, uh, let's see, say 30 minutes. I'm just going to get some takeout and bring it back here to the studio. So if you unpause me in half an hour, I should be back here at my computer and done eating. Oh, and go ahead and log in to MATLAB online before you unpause me. Okay, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. And I hope you had better luck with your license than I did with my sandwich, which I'm almost finished with. Sorry about that. You know, who ever heard of a deli running out of mayo? Man. But anyway, okay, as we look at this desktop here, some things should be familiar because we saw them in the installed desktop. On the left is the current folder. On the right is the command window, although it isn't labeled as such. And at the bottom, is the workspace. This is the default layout in March 2016 for MATLAB Online. It may have changed a bit if you're in the future. Hmm. Wonder whether there are people on Mars in your time. If so, MATLAB probably helped get them there. Oh, and you might want to look in the old movie archives for a film called The Martian from 2015 you know, to get an idea of what people in my time thought it would be like. It would probably be good for a laugh. Anyway, back to the present. You've already seen how these three windows work, and there are no huge differences with MATLAB Online, but there are some important differences over here in the current folder window that we should look at. In that window, you can see the name of the current folder up here at the top. It's FitzPaJM, and it's a child of users. This slash right here separates the parent folder on the left from the child on the right. You'll have something different, of course, from FitzPodJM. What's important to us are the children of this folder. First, let's note that I've got three folders inside this current folder. I've highlighted Computer Programming W MATLAB. That was supposed to be Computer Programming with MATLAB. And Published and Shared. Published and shared aren't essential to our course, but they're provided by default to help you show your work to others. You won't have this first one, because that's a folder that I've created, so I have a place to keep my files for this course. We'll show you how to do that in a minute. If I click this little triangle right here, to the left of the folder, I can see what's inside it. I can scroll to see everything. Lots of folders, a couple of files here. And I can make the window bigger so I don't have to scroll. 
like that. In fact, let's make this whole desktop bigger. Let's bring this way over here. Let's just take up the whole screen. Huh. It's like we did with the uh, installed version. That's great. Tell you what, before I do anything else, I'll show you how to rename a folder or a file. You just click right on it. Let's fix this thing. Select Rename, and then type in the new name. I just want to change this W to With, and hit Return, and it's fixed. And creating a brand new folder is just about as easy. Let's you click New up here. Let's um, click Folder, and we'll type in the name. I'm going to call this Private Collection. Click OK, and there's my new folder. And to delete a folder, click right on it. Come down here, then you click Delete, left click. Yes, I'm sure, and it's gone. Of course, the whole idea of this current folder business is that MATLAB works inside one folder at a time, and when you want it to work inside a different folder, you must move it to that folder. How do you do that in MATLAB Online, you ask? Well, you can do it in the same way we did it in the installed version, I answer, by clicking folder icons. For example, if I want to change my current folder to be computer programming with MATLAB, here, I just double click it. And as expected, the current folder that's now shown is computer programming with MATLAB, right here. In MATLAB Online, this long name here plays the role of the installed version's address bar. Let's take a look at that address bar. This time in version R2015B of the installed MATLAB. It's right here. You may remember that the address bar in the installed version shows each parent separated from its child by one of these little triangles. So for example, the current folder in the installed version here, Tutorials, is a child of computer programming with MATLAB. By comparison, in MATLAB Online, there is no address bar up here. Instead, the long name here under current folder shows each parent separated from its child by a slash. Stretch this out a little bit. Here computer programming with MATLAB is the current folder and it's a child of Fitzpod JM. You'll remember that we made this folder our current folder by double clicking it. When we do that, we say we are moving down from a parent to a child. As we saw for the installed version, we can also move up from a child to a parent by clicking. Let's look at that again. I'll shrink MATLAB online a little bit here so I can look at them side by side. I'm going to bring this up just a little farther. Well, not side by side, but one over the other. Now, in the installed version down here, the current folder is Tutorials, and this is what's inside Tutorials. And I can move down into one of its children, say Lesson 1 here, by double-clicking it. Let's do that. There we go. Let's look around here a little bit. I'll be using some of these files in Lesson 1, by the way. To move back up to the parent, I click this tiny little icon right here with the tiny little black up arrow. There. So now I'm at Tutorials again. And I can move back up to the parent of the current folder in MATLAB Online in the same way by clicking on its tiny little icon with its tiny little black up arrow right here. So let's do that. So computer programming with MATLAB was our current folder. 
and we've moved up into its parent, FitzPyJM. It's now our current folder. To make this comparison of the two MATLAB versions even easier, you might have been expecting me to put both of them at the same current folder, say, Tutorials, which is sitting right here on my MacBook hard disk somewhere. Well, hey, that's a great idea, except for one small problem. It's impossible. Why is it impossible, you ask? Well, it's impossible, I answer, because MATLAB Online can't navigate to it. In fact, it can't navigate to any of the folders on my computer. Not one of the folders that you see here, FitzPodJM, Computer Programming with MATLAB, Homework Problems, Issues with MO, whatever these things are, not one single one of those folders or any of the files in them is on my computer. Where are they, you ask? I don't know, I answer. All I do know, and all anyone who uses MATLAB online can know, is that they're sitting on some computer somewhere. They're your folders, and they contain your files. They're just not on your computer. When you look at these folders, you're looking into a space reserved just for you on a computer controlled by MathWorks and connected to the internet. This is an example of cloud computing. And those files and that computer are part of the cloud. The cloud is just a bunch of computers that you can use remotely without knowing where they are. And when you save your program in a file with MATLAB Online, you'll be saving it in that cloud on one of those computers. And the commands executed on MATLAB Online run in the cloud. Let's type the same command into the command windows of each version. x equals 1 and x equals 1. Results pretty much the same. You see the same thing in the command window. Over here in the workspace you see an x and a 1. Here you see an x and a 1. The difference is that this command ran right here on my laptop. This command didn't. It ran on the computer in the cloud. And that's a good thing. That computer in the cloud is guaranteed to be a fast computer with a lot of memory. If you've got your own big powerful computer, then congratulations. If not, then congratulations, because you've got MATLAB online and it has a big, fat, powerful computer for you. So MATLAB online uses a cloud computer to work on cloud files. So what if you want to use it to work on a file that's on your computer? Well, you can't do that, but you can copy that file up to the cloud and work on that copy. Then you can change it, and you can delete it, and you can do anything you want to it, but until you download it back to your computer, nothing you do will affect that copy of the file back there on your computer or anything else on your computer. So let's say that I want to work on one of the files here in Lesson 1. Let's see. Um, this one right here, myran.m. So I go up here to MATLAB Online, and I click the little Upload button. Then I click Choose Files, and I'm in a navigator on my laptop. So I click over here. Let's see, where is that thing? The file I'm looking for is under Class, Class Material, M Files, Tutorial, Lesson 1. There we go, and there's myran.m. That's the file I want, so I highlight it. I can hold down the the shift key and highlight more if I want to upload more files at a time, but I just want one right now, so I'm going to choose that and then upload. Finally, I click OK. Well, where is it? Oh, it's here in the current folder. That's where it's uploaded. You just got to scroll down here and find it, and there it is, myran.m. And now I can do what I want to with it up here in the cloud using MATLAB Online. And what about if you want to go in the other direction? Here's a file called coolplot.m. Suppose I want to download that down to my computer. 
Well, I clicked the download button, and whoa, what is that? Let's watch that again in slow motion. It looks like a little compass thingy. I guess that means it finds the direction to my computer and it rises and then it falls down into what I guess looks is supposed to be my hard disk. Now, where is it on your computer? Well, that depends on how you set up your browser. I've got mine set up to download files into my downloads folder. So let's go look for that. Uh, downloads and there it is and of course you can move it from that downloads folder to any folder you want to and then work on it with MATLAB or anything else on your local computer okay we've learned the essentials of MATLAB online you know how to navigate through your folders on the cloud and how to copy things between the cloud computer and your local computer and you know how to give a command. And you know how to start it, too, by getting your license and logging in. But we need to learn how to stop it. There are two kinds of stopping, stopping a command and stopping MATLAB itself. You've already seen how to do both of these things with the installed version. Let's do it again. I'm going to give the command while x equals 1 continue end you'll learn later what the while command and what continue and end and all of that means but you can kind of read it while x is 1 continue and we're not changing x and x is 1 so it'll just continue forever until we do something about it and what we're going to do about it is hit control C on the keyboard and that stops it so let's Try the same thing up here in MATLAB Online. And I hit return. The command begins to work. And of course, it's going to go forever. And let's hit Control C on the keyboard. There. Well, it didn't stop. Let's try that again. Maybe three is a charm. No, I can tell you this is never going to work because MATLAB Online will not stop a command when you hit Control c the way the installed version does. So what do you do? Well, there's another way. Look over here. This little red button that says Stop. That looks promising. Let's try that. There. Stopped. It's just as good as Control c I even like it better because it says Stop, and that's what it's doing. Okay, that's how you stop a command. Now let's stop MATLAB itself by typing quit like this. Do this in the installed version first. Uh, yes, I really want to quit. And it's gone. Now before I do that in MATLAB Online, I'm going to give it a few more commands just for fun. Um, Let's see. A equals one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Uh, when you see red like that, it means you made a mistake. I must have typed wrong. Instead of one, two, three, I typed one e three. So anyway, let's try that again. A equals one, two, three, four, five, six. There, that's better. And, uh, you know, I think I need more space. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. I don't know about there. I'm going to plot something. And there's a nice little plot. Plot's another command that we'll learn about later. Now, some of my commands disappeared, but over here you'll see a scroll bar, and you can scroll down, and there they are. Okay, I guess I will um, go ahead and quit then. You can log out like this up here, or you can quit. Let's log out since I'll just show you a different way. There. I'm back into the login screen again. And if I log back in,
I'm more or less back where I was before. Only slight difference is I'm not in the same current folder, but if I fool around with that, I can get back to where I was before. That's one of the wonderful things about this system. You just um, log out, do what you want to do, get a sandwich, whatever. Uh, when you come back, things are right where they were. And so this time I'm going to quit. And again, I'm back at that login screen. Okay, we've stopped MATLAB online, but we're not quite ready to stop our introduction to it. I got one more thing to show you, and I have saved the best for last. I'm getting my car keys out because it's time to take a little trip. Man, it is a beautiful day. So let's go to the library. Well, I've gone about four and a half miles, and here I am at the beautiful new Bellevue branch of the Nashville Public Library. And it's a nice place. I must admit that I rarely come here, but every time I do, despite the fact that everything you need seems to be on the web, there are plenty of people here with me. And you can see plenty of cars here. And inside there are books. But I'm not here for the books. I'm here for the computers. And here's one right here. I just sat down and I'm logging into it. They've given me a number and a pen. And I have to agree to the uh, safety procedure here. Okay, whatever, I'll click that. And then there's my screen and you can see Internet Explorer is the only browser they provide, so I'm going to click that. This computer is one of about um, 30 computers that are provided for the public. You don't even have to be a member of the library to use them. Uh, the point is here for us is that this is not my computer. In fact, I've never used this computer before in my life. And because it's a public computer instead of my computer, we can't install any screen capture software, and that's why things don't look so good. In fact, you may have noticed you're seeing the whole monitor, not just the screen. You're looking at this through a movie camera. So let's go up here and type in the URL for MATLAB Online. Let's type in our credentials. While I'm logging in, let's think about what we expect to see. When I logged out and then logged back in on my laptop, MATLAB remembered the state of my previous session and restored it for me. And that was very nice. That information had to be stored somewhere. Was it on my laptop or in the cloud? Well, if it restores my previous session now, we'll know the answer to that question. It has to be saved in the cloud. Well, that's already promising. That looks very familiar. Well, where's my... Ah, there's my plot, too. It all seems to be there. Well, almost. Um, let's see. Let's go to that scroll bar. Yep, there, there's even the command where I quit. And over here, let's see if we can get back to... Uh, yeah, this... It's all there. Everything. Um... Uh, it's, it's all right there. Obviously, everything's saved on the cloud, and that is the best possible news because that means no matter where you go in the world, you're going to see everything. There's my uh, mistake and the error message that came right after that. Next commands. It's all there. My gosh, this is a noisy place. What are they doing back there? Anyway, let's do something. Let's add one to A. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and now we got two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that worked. 
We'll explain why all these numbers went up by one in a later video. And I've got a command up here. This is a function I'd like to run called cool plot. I'm going to run that. There. Pretty cool plot. All right. Let's um. Let's close this down. We'll quit. And we're back to the login window. Now let's go back to the studio and log back in again. So here we are back in the quiet of the studio. I've got Safari running on my laptop. It's aimed at matlab.mathworks.com and I'm putting in my credentials. And let's log in. And after a short wait, there it is. It's all there. Everything we were doing is right back where we were doing it again. Scroll down. And you can even see that last time we quit. Well, this time I think I'll log out up here instead of quitting. And we're back to the login screen once again. Well, it's time to start focusing back on the MATLAB language itself, but before we leave MATLAB Online, if you have some problems with MATLAB Online, you can get some help from us still through um, some files that are online. You can look for helpful hints for using MATLAB on the website. And then there are the forums. In the forums, you can ask questions, and we'll answer them, and other students will answer them about how to use MATLAB Online and the differences between MATLAB Online and the installed version, which I'll be using throughout the remainder of the course. So let's get back to the MATLAB language. I'll see you in the next video. But before I do, maybe it's time for a little break. I don't know about you, but I could sure use a sandwich. <laughs>